Escargot, anyone? No, we're not going to be talking about snail-like creatures that we're going to eat. We're going to be talking about snail-like creatures that like to eat our garden plants. We're standing in my garden today and we're looking at my vegetable plot. It's a covered plot and we're going to talk a little bit about the slugs, which are snail-like creatures without their shells. Generally, slugs have two generations in Wyoming. They just have time to produce those two generations, but there can be lots of them. And so they can do quite a bit of damage to your vegetable crops. So slugs lay their eggs in the ground in little cracks and fissures. And then the eggs will hatch into little slugs and they basically look the same as the larger slugs. And then they'll crawl out and start invading plants. They can eat on the root crops such as these carrots, which are feeling kind of nervous right now. And then they will grow larger and move on to things like lettuce. Slugs are really attracted to leafy, green, tender vegetables. So your baby spinach, your baby lettuce, that's what they love. So if you have another plant that you're trying to protect, actually having those plants planted nearby is actually a way to catch them because they'll crawl over to the lettuce and you can control them over there and keep them off your prized plant. So control measures for slugs are first, do not have such a good habitat for them. So that means reducing the amount of humidity that's in there and letting the sun get in and dry them out. Slugs are like 80% water. So if you can fry them up, that's a good way to get rid of them. They hide during the day and then they come out at night. So you can often catch them in the early morning and pull them off and step on them. There's also some baits that you can use. Just be sure to read the directions and use them carefully. Another method is to use beer or another sugary liquid and put out small platters of it. They will crawl in there and drown. The main things are in the spring and early summer to keep your eyes out for slugs. And once you see them, start implementing control measures and start drying out your areas so that they aren't quite such great habitats for slugs. Mm -hmm.